Hi, everybody. Welcome um, back to the Delarosa family, uh, or Del De Rosa Florence Delarosa, since there's not really a family. Hold up, let me make sure everything is well, recording properly, and it is not. I'm talking to myself. Oh, no, I'm not. It is recording. I'm so confused, guys. Um, but yeah, we're here with Florence Delarosa, so. We're going to get started. Um, I gave her a hell of a makeover. Um, we're actually not going to be playing that much of her because I didn't realize it was already Wednesday um, in her household. So, and we're only playing the families to Thursday night. So, we won't be playing her too long, but she is gorgeous. Like, I, I didn't realize how gorgeous she was. Like, I didn't think she looked awful, but she looks a lot better without that horrible outfit she was wearing and her... Hair is different, and I gave her some earrings. Um, she's custom. She's like really custom content heavy, I'd say, because every everything, the pants, the shirt, the earrings, the hair, the a little bit of the makeup. The only thing that's not custom content about her is the blush she has. Everything else is custom content. So, and I guess her eyebrows aren't custom content. But yeah, uh, she's going to come finish her mac and cheese because I had her stop that so I could actually give her the makeover and have her do her taxes. So she did her taxes already, so we're fine with that. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to just have her let her eat that mac and cheese and then come use the bathroom and sleep. Uh, she does want to get a pet, which I think is a great idea. She actually wants to play with Gilbert, so I um, guess you can try to do that. Yeah, she's so pretty. So we're just waiting for her to get fully energized. Um, oh, she's very attracted to Gilbert. Um, John looks really weird in that picture. Is that really John? It's interesting there. Come clean that up and have a toaster pastry. Hopefully she doesn't burn the house down. But we're taking that risk, so. Uh, she didn't burn the house down, great. Um, maybe she could go watch something before she has to go get prepared for work. Oh god, I don't like the granny panties she's wearing, but that's fine. I'm not sure if I like made her look a little too kind of young and chic, but I don't know. I I think she looks great, but I'm not sure if, how Maxis is wanting her to be. But regardless, I think she looks great the way she turned out. Um, we should probably have you change into your everyday, and we're going to... Oh, we should probably come restock some of this stuff. Ah! And maybe make some more flowers. Hmm. Am I missing anything? No. Look at everything restocking now. I'm probably open at like seven. Oh, we have to make more of those flowers. That is fine. We're gonna come open the business, and then actually, what we could do is go get our pet that she wants. I think I see her getting a cat, hands down, and probably not like a kitten. Probably something like a older cat, maybe. I don't know. Just one of these. We have Jubal. Romero. I, what do you say that? Ron, Ron Ronero? 
Baxter, Rowe, um, I don't know. We want a kind of a cheaper one. I think Jubal. Let's go with Jubal. <laughs> so Jubal's on their way. I can't even remember if Jubal's a boy or girl, but we will see. I think it'll tell me. Um, but yeah, we should probably come check out the store. Uh, we should get the cat their things. Need so much, but that's fine. So, oh, I did want to lock this area so people can't get in here. But come fill the bowl for Jubal, which I'm not sure. Do we know Jubal yet? Oh, and Jubal's cute. Uh, we should come... Do we have an employee? We don't. I'm wondering if we'll get one. For now, we're fine, but, oh, we're not selling pet Jubal, no. We know Jubal now. Jubal is a boy. Okay. Uh, so that was pretty well. We should probably come. We might have to get a uh, cashier. We don't really have any badges in this, but... Yeah, we'll get an employee then. We have no money, but that's okay. Uh, our bills are here, and we'll pay that in a second. Let's, god, we're really not going to be playing much, but that's okay. Uh, we could get this old man. Uh, Sarah McCarthy's unemployed, and she has a register badge, so we'll get you. Perfect. Um, oh, yeah, let's pay our bills real quick. And then, oh shit, Chico needs to, oh crap, sorry. I know Chico, we're, we're here. We're trying. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, County story I posted. Um, Cause that'll be that's gonna be another series where we play some of the townies that are in this town. So they're kind of part of the town, but they're not gonna be part of our rotation. They're just kind of fun families that we play kind of on the side. Cause it's nice to have like our townies be involved a little bit. Oh my god, our cat is already causing issues. And I don't... Where are you going? Scold... Oh, that's fine. Uh... Be the cashier. What are you doing? I don't have time to talk to this random man.
And I'm wondering if we can, because I think Blue Water Village has townies. So, what are you doing, Sarah? We are here to sign you to work. Um, but yeah, if I remember correctly. Oh shit, hurry, Sarah, go and cash these people out. Um, Blue Water Village has time. Like, I think Sarah McCarthy is a townie in Blue Water Village. So I think we would be able to eventually play them as well. It'll be a while before we end up doing that, though. Um, actually serve, just in case some of our guests want this. We're going to go the extra distance and give them free lunch meat sandwiches. Yes, we are. We got a culinary school, which is great because I think she wanted to get a skill, so that's nice. Let me turn this off. This is bothering me. How is a kitty doing? Oh no, bad kitty. Let me eat all the sandwiches. So I guess we'll sleep uh, while our business just kind of flies. We'll probably shut it down at like 8. And I guess I'll end the part at like midnight or something. Because um, I feel bad that it's shorter, but I didn't realize that we already... Uh, we're on Wednesday, so... But that's fine. Yeah, it looks like business is doing pretty well, but we're not gaining that much money. And I think we give her money, like, by the hour. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll come, close the business, and send everybody home. Oh, she's mad that things weren't... That's fine. Oh, we bought something from... Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, we don't have kids. So we do want to play with Gilbert, so maybe we can work on that. Um, just chat with him for a minute, because we're not like deeply close. And then invite him over. And we will play, see what how it goes from there. She wants to do more interactions with him, I don't know. Maybe there'll be something there, like, uh, romantically, but maybe not. Maybe she just wants to play with him or something. I don't know. Just give him a tickle, and then he, and that's it. Who knows? What's the matter, baby? The cat is just whining. Oh. Scold for yelling. It's annoying. Or don't. Oh, we gotta go talk to Gilbert. Uh, come greet him. What are you doing? This cat is wild. What are your traits, hun? Um, do fans. <laughs> lazy, independent, cowardly, and. Er, independent, in the middle of aggressive, and cowardly, and pretty finicky. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's hope these guys don't try to woohoo. That always happens. Because she's so attracted to him. Um, but that's all she cared about, so I guess he can chill, but at that point, that's all she wanted, so. <laughs> I guess we'll start spaghetti since we have company over. Actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I know this was short, but I didn't. But yeah, like I said, I didn't want to play like too much into it. Um, but next part will be three days with her. We, I just want to make sure everybody's on the same uh, day and we're not playing too far ahead. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys had fun watching. Subscribe, comment, like for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.